Hey folks, Garrett Monroe here from Hiram College Tech and Trek. I'm on my iPad Pro, and today I want to go over how to access and start your ePortfolio uh, in, in very brief order. And so to start, I'm just going to locate the Chrome browser app. Here it is, down here. I'm going to open up Chrome, and I'm going to go to online.hiram.edu, which is where I'll log in to Moodle. Here you can see I've already logged in. And I'm going to locate the course that I'm in that is using the ePortfolio. In this case, I'm going to Academic Technology Skills. Jumping in here, and I'm scrolling down to the place, probably my instructor or somebody else has indicated uh, is the ePortfolio. So here it is, here's ePortfolio Access. You can see it's got this green blob, and it again prompts me to use Chrome. I'm gonna tap on that. Now, if everything's going well, it should open up this page. Uh, welcome to Digication, uh, and here, you can actually create an ePortfolio. Now, if you don't get this page and you get an error instead, uh, there's a, a, a chance you're gonna have to uninstall Chrome and reinstall the app, which usually fixes that issue. So to start a new, so if you've already created an ePortfolio, you can click this button here, show all my ePortfolios, and that'll show all the ePortfolios you've created, and then I'll toggle back and forth between only show ePortfolios that are shared with this course. This is a new course, nothing's been shared here yet, and so maybe I wanna just go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna hit this green button. The green button is used whenever I create a new ePortfolio. So I tap on it, opens a new tab here, and then I'm gonna look for a template that's been shared with this course. In this case, there's no template shared with this course, so I can actually tap on this, this menu and open up and search all templates, now, if you're like me and you're creating what we call a connections ePortfolio, you're gonna go ahead and just use this one, F-Y-E-N, draft uh, 2021, and I'm gonna go ahead and use this template. Now I just wanna select this blue create button at the top. Now I can type in my name here. This is a site where you can edit some initial uh, details for your ePortfolio, including a thumbnail here, which will be handy. Um, and down here, uh, you're going to scroll down and you can actually um, see other elements that you can add. For instance, you can add other pages that have been created to your existing ePortfolio or existing ePortfolios you can add to your new ePortfolio. We're not going to do that right now, just super basic. And I'm going to pinch and zoom out so I can find this blue create button. Sometimes it's hidden on the iPad. I'm just going to go down there and tap that blue create button in the bottom right. Okay, everything's working here. I'm gonna go and watch my pages be created. Here we can see the system processing and creating these new sites. So basically what the ePortfolio is, is, an, is a website that has some special sharing privileges. So you can choose who can see your ePortfolio. You can publish it to selective groups, such as your faculty, your coaches, your advisors, other classmates you have in your course. It's creating all these pages for me now. Sometimes this takes a moment. It'll tell you as such here in the yellow box. It's telling me it's taking a moment. Okay, it looks like it's moving on through. Aha, so here I am at my ePortfolio site. Everything looks in order. This is the website with nothing else on it. And um, we will leave how to edit things for the next video. I'm just gonna make sure you have uh, publishing going. I'm hitting this yellow publish button. And the first time you create an ePortfolio, you just wanna make sure it's published with the, with the right folks. So I often come down here and I can click edit on the far right and I can type in a particular group. Like um, say I was in um, a course on ePortfolios. See if we can search for one. Whoops. Aha, Digication ePortfolio. So say that's my course. I'm gonna go ahead and share with that group. And you can search for whatever course or individual you might be in there. And I'm just gonna click save. Wonderful. And now you've got your ePortfolio. You can come in and edit it and share it with others. All right. Feel free to visit us in the library or visit the Hiram Technology 101 page on Moodle. If you don't know where that is, let me just point that out real quick. So I go back to Moodle and here it is, Hiram Tech 101 up here in the upper right. And you can select there to view videos 
and other tutorials on all things tech, including ePortfolio under Section 2. Thank you so much, and we'll see you around.